Okay, folks, a little bit better information on Nemesis, okay? Uh, it's been refreshed a little bit here. We go in here and we look and we see the path of Nemesis and real quick, okay, discovered 1872, okay, a long time ago, known about it for years. 4.033 IU out, okay? And we finally have a size, too. Uh, where did I see that at? We Okay, that you can look for it now there currently. This is the 7.34 p.m. 11.16, 2011. Okay, current distance from sun is 3.07 IU. Uh, you can go to my channel tonight and see where the sun's distance was tomorrow. I don't really got time to that. That is the sun. We haven't moved that much closer to the sun. You'll get that again tomorrow or something like that. So we got a radius of 58.459 miles. Finally got that. Rotation period is 39 hours. Okay. Now, uh, I don't think I show a rise on this here. Do not current ascension. Nearby sky objects, okay, and my old hometown, altitude, do, do, as you see the next rise, okay, it does rise and fall, okay. Rigel Cantaris B, that until someone can prove me wrong, it is in front of the sun. No one can prove me wrong on that. I do know that. I even showed you guys scientific fact on paper that it is in front of the sun. High or low, I'm wanting to determine that because is it this? Okay, uh basically current sky chart before I go to the is it this so that we know where things are at right now North America okay the idea that on any time stamp that we're gonna see the only thing you should see biggest and it is the biggest ever since I've been in school and I'm ancient uh, Jupiter is the biggest thing that we should see in the sky in the Milky Way that we know of okay otherwise it's objects in the supergiants and anything lately uh, new that they found. So there is your constellation, and I gave you the grid and the idea that, yes, the pole has shifted, folks. That gives you the coordinates. That grid is always going to give you GPS is the easiest way, layman terms, to tell you people that latitude and longitude. We have twisted, folks. And so there's Beano Black's most concurrent. And I should have realized it when I gave you the grid before. If I put the grid on or take the grid off, that is the GPS coordinates, folks. Okay? So there is the mesh. And the idea that also that it, we have North America, basically, this is, if you looked at the, the last video I had, the idea they showed the soft spot on the North Pole being pretty much back where it's supposed to be. Okay? So the idea that even though it's back on where it's supposed to be at, We've kind of been this way, and we know by also, I'll even try to go hurry up and go to that solar to show you that. Current real-time magnetosphere, we're supposed to be cool, and we have been kind of cool most of the day. Haven't looked at that for a long time for folks, but we're cool. So, i.e., we have shifted, and then it keeps you updated. So the idea that when we're looking at North America, it shows me the mesh, that's how much we are. So the idea that the Earth is wobbling a lot right now, ladies and gentlemen, okay? As you can see that we are back on the core on the Antarctic just a little bit there, as you see, okay? And that shot up there, you can see why it's... So the Earth is wobbling a lot right now, ladies and gentlemen, and they're not going to get on the boob tube and tell you that, okay? And you got to watch for the CMEs coming in because the idea has been farting. It's out. The sun has been going crazy since the 12th, 14th. Okay, now, and I'm going to go to uh, Stereo, actually, Lasco, but let's go to this one real fast, too, and check in on there, because I don't get that at uh, the government one right now, okay? I.e., also, this one here, where you can still also, let's pump this up, we'll go to 400, and we'll just get take a look. You see this on my videos, and it's still there today on the 17th, and actually, the old this shot was a little bit ago. As a matter of fact, I think if I go to my other screen, it's going to show you a 16th shot, Okay. And the idea that, i.e., they didn't want you to see, and I'll refresh this right now, on Lasco 3. They didn't want you to see that action there to the left, okay? So you can watch all this and go to the time, that's 1644 UTC on the 16th. Go there and look at the photos that you can come with and see what they were trying to hide there, okay? And basically, I would figure that it more than likely is exactly what we are always seeing here. Because the idea that are we, and when, when we have that Hawaii videos that you go and look at me that I've put up, is this what we are rotating to, Rigel Cantaris B? And I'm very damn well, until we get proved wrong, that's Rigel Cantaris B, until somebody proves it wrong. Because I can pump that up. Hang on a second. 
Rigel Cannon Terrace B because we are pumped up to, now it's only supposed to be 77% of the size of the sun, but so is it so goddamn low below the sun, even though it's in front of the sun, is it so damn low in IU to uh, horizontal towards straight in line with Earth towards the sun that, and also we can never guarantee when these satellites take a shot of what direction they're coming from. Now I'm going to give you the recent direction of the SOHO shots in just a second. Okay, we'll go to that SOHO map. Now this on the 16th, you could basically possibly, what was the time there? So yeah, 16th. So basically, if you match up the, the cover up that they put and you go to what they blotched out on this, so it's me showing you this and then the blotch out when this video posts, then I'm actually going to go back and forth and look, okay? Because then basically that just makes me toss it back and forth because this isn't going to change, okay? And the idea, I go to the Soho and hopefully they shouldn't have blocked out anything off of this. And as you can see, yep, see, they flip it upside down, okay? So I'll scan through this slow at, a th at uh, yeah, a thousand percent. Let me come back down through this because the same date, just a little bit different time, 1642 to 1654, okay? So something could have put, believe me, stuff pops in and out that fast that they, we could miss what they were blocking, okay? But the idea that if you flip this around, yes, they're always playing around. If you remember, this used to always be down the left-hand corner, okay? So if I go what the Navy looks at, the Navy looks at that right there. Where do they have it? They got it where it's supposed to be. So Soho is trying to play with layman, just anybody, taxpayer or whatever's looking, they're trying to play around. Okay, so try to figure out what they've been blocking out there. And so we scanned that real fast. Let me stop the video. Okay, so I'm going to go back again. Now, I believe I pumped up the non-government view to look at that. So this is the location. So Venus will always be your brightest and Mercury will be the second brightest that you're going to see. So let's see what we find in space, folks. Let's see what we haven't been knowing about for a long time. And i.e., remember... A ahead and B behind, okay? Views, folks, but not where the satellite took the picture at. Check this out. Okay, this isn't the official SOHO site, but this is where I go to look at SOHO, okay? Now, you are going to see, I believe, this object here of four objects, massive in size, in space, okay? I am believing that this is our Rigel Cant Terrace B action, one of them, okay? and it's moons or something because basically Rigel Cantaris B officially folks you will be able to find out Rigel Cantaris B does not rise and fall we rotate to it okay until someone proves me wrong I believe that what we're seeing in Hawaii in Palau and at the Australians and down there in Antarctic is that okay now Venus is supposed to be the brightest goddamn thing that we're gonna see folks so that's Venus okay until some, I mean, Jupiter, sorry. And I apologize on saying Venus. Jupiter, Jupiter is the doggone biggest dog we're going to see when we're looking in space at objects that we know of, okay? Otherwise, they're super giants, okay? So let's go back to the night uh, map for knowing what we're looking at, okay? Okay, we just seen that we know that we're, we should only see Venus and we should only, now Jupiter would bleed through, so it's so damn big, okay? So that's that. So the idea that when we are seeing this shot, and there's the date, that the idea that we should only be able to see uh, Venus and Mercury, which so more than likely this is Venus and Mercury, okay? And IE around Venus, some pretty interesting looking stuff. This is blown up 400%. You can take and blow it up a thousand percent or something like that, I believe. So, and you can go to these two. Basically, this is the, and basically there is still of what we believe to be, until somebody proves us different, that more than likely somehow in the sky sitting is the idea that that is, so this is the NASA, Blah, blah, blah. There's the, you got the address up there anyway. Okay. So, okay. So also we drop down when they're saying stereo ahead behind H1 and H2, when they've been telling us that before, well, I figured out that a long time ago, that the idea of, well, hell, we're on the same damn satellites, just different cameras that they're looking through because one gives a different kind of an image, you know, different lens, different x-ray, this, that, or whatever. Okay. So basically, you take this shot here that they say ahead, and you put it over here on the right-hand side. Because basically, this right here, these two images, this, this stuff here, 
and all they'll sew this stuff here looks like a cross right bam 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 big ass objects in space because we know how big the sun is and how gosh darn big this stuff must be okay and also this big ass brick that we've been kindly pretty much figuring that that's more than likely what we're seeing basically also matching up to being pretty much probably is that okay and is it Rigel Cantaris B because we know Rigel Cantaris B is 5,000 degrees it does not rise does not fall okay but does it move left or right quite god on possibly okay because we've seen that movement in my what question mark video okay so the idea that you have this material here will match up to and this here is very easy not to dis just disrupt and disfigure is the idea so when we go down to this shot over here that's that material there right there and then this material down here is this material here all right so the idea that that pretty much could be a good view of what we see in flaming and then you move this one to the right you take this and put this half over to the right and you will pretty much have more than likely like I was saying the brightest thing is either it's up here or here and the idea I think they were in line if we go over to the blue real fast not well basically I figured that that should be this that should be more than likely Jupiter because Jupiter should be the biggest brightest doggone thing that we see there otherwise what the hell is this and what the hell is this and then the idea that for some reason that this is and then that's another thing is like I was showing you that past video says what the hell is that up there because if that's Jupiter back there which is the biggest daggone dog we're supposed to see then we got Mercury and uh, and uh, Mercury and Venus and then the idea that this is the other would be Saturn in uh, what was it? Saturn and what the hell else would be Mercury Saturn Mars okay so Mars and Saturn possibly down there then okay so anyway all we want to do is say we love you United States Air Force and any part of the military that is controlled any of these satellites or any of our tax dollars that's going out there and taking these pictures because this is awesome stuff so you can match up that one there to this one over here when you go to the and you can you've got the address right up there the NASA address and then you move this one over to here and you're going to see the same ass action there that that should be that now it could be wrong on that stuff but the idea that we've already caught in the earlier part of this video the idea of them flipping objects around on us in the last couple of videos so you just keep on looking at it watch for your bursts so that you know what something's matching up and watch the clock and then you can match things up okay so there's what we we're supposed to know that is Venus and Mercury and that's pretty much the only thing we figured we should have in the field of view there so the idea of what the hell else are we seeing or we're being able to see also Jupiter and so forth but why aren't they putting that on the local map and currently North America that's what you should be seeing anyway too so the idea that that big ass whatever to the right should be uh, Jupiter I don't know what I just said I'm talking so fast thinking I'm, getting, I'm just kind of pissed about NASA but anyway the idea that is Jupiter North America right now current sky chart okay and here's your constellations and your whatever tilt and we're looking at Earth because that's the North Pole that's how we're sitting and that's somewhat your rotation and your axis okay and yes everything falls solstice so the Sun path and Jupiter and all the planets that we know of and when they keep on giving us this stereo idea that that's the idea that's how they go and we got to start working in the uh, bullet pattern that we are starting to see some other theorists seeing that maybe we've been wrong all along on idea how idea how things move through space okay like a bullet path like a spiral okay so we got some reconfiguring to do last minute's going to be proving people wrong at the idea that there is a little something in front of the sun okay i.e. these photos are from 1117 at like something like 1 8 okay now let's see tonight's live feed where you're not going to see this in front of the sun yet and the idea that it's not the camera doing it this was 50 minutes Zulu GMT tonight there was another either there's so much sun coming off whatever the hell's coming up and it's not the sun that it's showing up another sun over here as you can see that pointing to this is a photo that I zapped ie and when I show you in other videos it's not there yet okay so and the camera's not doing the blotch okay 
Okay, just like the screen says, and this is what I took a picture of a minute ago, okay? And the sun's coming up right there, and there's no blotch. And you've seen basically a little bit farther than this picture here. And let me go to it. There's the view. This is a minute legal disclaimer.